Hello again, John of All Games here, and welcome back to a Let's Mod Don't Starve video. The second one in the series, and we're going to look at the Abigail Buff mod by Wooty Dude in the forums. So, apparently, the thing is with Wendy, I've never really played her. I played her once, but I uh, was not real impressed, and I liked Wilson so much, and Wolfgang, I wanted to play them. So, the thing with Wendy is, I guess, her special ability was pretty useless, and so no one ever really wanted to play her. So, the story goes. Um, so now, what this mod does is, Abigail no longer hurts you or your pets. Uh, Abigail, who is Wendy's sister, Abigail's speed is greatly increased. And Abigail has a 100% chance to spawn at dusk. So she comes back every evening. Um, the things that... The other things that have changed in this mod is that Abigail's damage on monsters is reduced. Uh, she no longer casts any sort of light level, like glow, so she's not like a nightlight anymore. And uh, she can now be targeted by monsters and killed. So I guess that's because she comes back every night, just a way to nerf her, kind of. So let's jump in here and I'll just show you. With this mod, there's not really much to show, it just changes Abigail, so you really have to play with her to enjoy the mod, but I'll just show you that she respawns every night and doesn't glow. Hey, why has he got to call me a pal? I'm not a pal. Alright, let me make myself a torch here. Oop, we gotta turn on test tools. Okay. Make a torch. A little fire just so I don't get killed before I can show you. Okay, so we will advance to dusk and then night and you will see Abigail should appear over here in the dark. So, she appeared. Okay. Abigail, now, see, I guess normally she would be glowing around wherever she was at, kind of like fireflies doing stuff. Now she doesn't glow, and I guess she moves quicker than she used to. She looks a little quicker. Yeah, there's a little bit of stuttering, so I guess that's a, uh, a part of increasing the speed. Okay, and so let's just skip right to the next day. Confirm that she comes back every night. Day two, dusk. Day two, evening, as darkness falls. And there she is again. Let's do it again. Mmm, seeds. Okay, and here she comes. Alright, so there you go. Uh, as usual, you just replace the, all the files in the archive file that you get. Uh, make a backup of your default original files. What I did is just take the folders that files change inside them, and I just change them to dash original. And then I just overwrite, oh, I make a copy, then I change it to dash original, overwrite it all so that I can just easily switch them all back instead of going in there, because you'll have a lot of files you have to rename from original back to, you know, the default name and stuff like that if you if you do it that way. So just doing the whole folder, keeping stock folders is probably the best way to go from being modded to unmodded right now. I imagine eventually down the road someone's going to release a tool for installing and turning on and off mods, but uh, right now this is the way to do it. So, as always, I thank you for watching. I'm John of All Games. Uh, if you have a, a mod you'd like me to look at, just leave it in the comments below or contact me by any of the methods you see down below in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.